What's up, everybody? I am Super Beast GN. Welcome back to the channel. Today, the deck we are playing is all about gaining and draining. We are going to be using Iriet of the Charmed Apple to drain our opponent of life while we gain life due to the amount of numbers of, of auras we control. So, Iriet says she's a 2-4, she's a one, a white, and a black. Each creature that's enchanted by an aura you control can't attack you or planeswalkers you control. Awesome. At the beginning of your end step, each opponent loses X life and you gain X life, where X is the number of auras you control. So, we have 4, 8, 9, 10, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, uh, 17, 18, 19. 19 ways to get auras plus the spellbook vendor, which says at the beginning of combat on your turn, you may pay one. When you do, create a sorcerer roll token that's attached to a target creature you control. Um, yeah, so we have a lot of ways to get auras on the field. So Ariette's going to be draining our opponent in a massive way. To get us there, we do have Screlves and Hex Mages. Hex Mage is really good. It's a 3-2 for 1, but the drawback is when it enters the battlefield, you have to put a cursed roll token on something, on a creature. It makes its base power toughness 1-1. One, one. So if you're playing this on turn 1, this is no longer a 3-2. Uh, it's a 1-1. One, one. However, there are ways to remedy this. On turn two, if you play this turn one, on turn two, you can always write of oblivion, something the opponent um, is put on the battlefield. And you can sacrifice the roll token that's on the hex mage, making it a three, two. You can also play a Lord Skitter's blessing on turn two. This puts a wicked roll token attached to a target creature you control. And of course, when you put another roll token on something, the, the, one, the previous one falls off. So that will make the hex mage a four, three. You can also play Skrelv, defector might on turn one as normal people would do because you want to get it going so you can protect other things and then hex mage on turn two putting the cursed roll token on Skrelv, and we don't care if Skrelv is a base toughness power and toughness one one because it already is a one one and it's just there to kind of protect everything else our auras are the ossifications for the stuff the threats we don't want to keep on the field like like uh Sheldreds. we don't want those on the battlefield um, it doesn't matter if she can attack or block. She doesn't need to attack or block to be good. So we use ossifications and right of oblivions for Sheldreds and, uh, for planeswalkers. But for anything else that doesn't have like a really powerful passive effect, we have planner disruptions, which says enchanted permanent can't attack or block and it's activated abilities can't be activated. And that's for an artifact creature or planeswalker. And then we have two realm breakers grasps that does the same thing, but not for planeswalkers. We have two regal bunny corns because we're with all the auras we're going to be putting into play. The bunny corn is going to be massive. Um, he is going to be a target for removal, but I'd rather it be the bunny corn than Iriet or Sheldred. So if it's going to be anything, the bunny corn is like probably the weakest link in the deck, but does demand an answer. So that's why we have two of them in here. Uh, Lord Skitter's Blessing, like I said before, puts a wicked roll token on a creature, but it also when we have a, an enchanted creature on the battlefield uh, at the beginning of my draw step, we lose a life and we draw an additional card. That's Phyrexian Arena. Just for one less mana. And another caveat, having a creature that is enchanted. But, you know, hopefully we always have that. Uh, which is Vanity. It's a saga for one and a black. It says, Chapter 1, destroy target creature and opponent controls. Mana value 2 or less. You put this out on turn 2, you're probably going to be killing something. If they've played a creature. Um, chapter 2, create a food token. It's pretty straightforward. And Chapter 3, Create a wicked roll token attached to a target creature you control. That's more rolls for our uh, for, for, for our, our board state, you know? And then, of course, Sheldred, because the name of the game is Gain and Drain, and that is exactly what Sheldred does. For the lands, we have uh, nothing super special. We do have two Restless Fortresses in here because of the obvious Gain and Drain in the deck. Whenever a Restless Fortress attacks, defending player loses two life, and you gain two life. And it's also nice to attack Planeswalkers. We have one Field of Ruin because Mirex is a problem, uh, and other, other man lands are problems as well. So that's the stuff we have in the deck. I hope, I, I, I hope you stick around to see how it does because we're about to get into it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All that good stuff really makes me happy, puts a smile on my face. Now, let's get into the games and see how this deck does. This is not great. We're going to go ahead and do that. And we got a bunny corn. Um, let's see. I think I like the ossification better. 
than the planner disruption. Unfortunately, well, we can Spellbook Vendor turn two, and then turn three we can Spiteful and then pay the one. Well, I mean, yeah, I think we do that. Or we can Regal Bunnycorn. That is a possibility. This is scary. Um. Let's see. I guess putting the thing on this makes it actually bigger, right? Because this is zero zero technically. Let's do that. I think that makes it a three three. No, four, oh, actually. Oh no, I'm wrong. So, oh well, we can put another thing on it though. That's fine. Give it an oops. So what do they do now? I guess it doesn't really matter. Unless I can get rid of the spellbook vendor. But, eh, you know. Okay, they can't. They could have. Um, let's go ahead and put that to the bottom because we don't need more lands. The next turn we can Restless Fortress as well. Here comes Leyline Binding, sure. Right? Go for the throat, okay. They can do another go for the throat? Eh, I mean, that's the Leyline Binding, okay. Leyline Binding, do 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 do. Let's just get in with the fortress. If they put something out, we can ossificate and then spellbook vendor. They don't. It's white. That's white. Leyline binding. Sure. It's a non land permanent, though, so I don't know what you're doing. We all make mistakes. There's one of them. I mean, it happens. What are you going to do? Uh, okay. Take action, sure. Alright, so now what? What do we do? Mm hmm. We go ahead and ossificate that. We don't want no ramps. Uh, auto play. Auto pay. <laughs> auto play! Alright, let's see if they have something else here. They're trying to get to that 7 for that flesh gorger, sure. Um, let's see. Exile target non land permanent. Sacrifice a non land permanent. Okay. We're going to sacrifice that. Take action. We're going to go to combat. Auto pay. Attack. Scry. Love it. And then scroll. There we go. And we have two ores on the field, so that's two damage. We just had to hit him for two, and then we win. Unless they have something here. Alright, they're dead. Wow. Mistakes were made on both sides. We got Realm Breaker. Oh, this is nice. We don't get to play Spiteful on turn one, but... Honestly, I'll take it. We just pretend like we went second. How about that? Oh. Oh no. Ah! Hmm. Has to be on itself. They kill it, they kill it. And eh, what can you do? Monasteries, do they not have the land? Nope, they have the land. And then kill the hex mate. Ooh, no. Okay. Um. Let's 
see. This is hard to deal with, right? So we attack. And now we get life back. I think that's the way. Eriet, the charmed apple. I think we just take this. They might have another roll to- oh god. Okay, um... They don't have anything. They might have something. No. Okay. Let's see. Put that down, do not attack. Now he can't attack us with that. And we're gonna gain two each turn. Phoenix chick, sure. Difference is they can't gain the life. Back with both of those, sure. Restless Fortress is really good. Um. These get bigger. I'm taking out that. We're just negating the Phoenix chicks every turn. And eventually, now that we have four mana, we put out Sheldred. Sure. Create a food token. Now we drain them for two each of our turns and each of their turns, right? So now they have to answer either the Eriet or the Sheldred. Uh, no attacks. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. If they have the roll token. Hmm. Now then he can attack. Um. We're gonna go here because that's the max damage right now. They could pump this. Now you create another roll token. A wickedly roll token. Um, we do this, we create another wicked roll token on Eriette. And then we ossificate on On that. And now we can just wait. Because now we're draining them for, for a lot. That's four damage. Plus two. We'll gain an extra life. Or we're gain, uh, we'll draw an extra card. We'll lose a life. We'll gain two, though. Uh, I don't think we block here. It doesn't matter. Even if we block the Bloodthirsty, they could still put the uh, roll tokens on the Phoenix Chicks anyway, so. Um, sure. And then we draw, gain more. This deck is amazing. We put this down. Nice, sure. We put the Regal Bunny Corn down now. That's a lot of, yeah, that's a 10-10. That's a I don't think they can really get rid of that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and auto pay. Put a, a token on that. Um, I think we could just, can we attack in though? Now nah, let's just kill him now. The end. Am I a joke to you? Am I a joke to you? I'm gonna mulligan that. That's much better. Um, Ossification is better for um, Sheldred. So we go like that. Mm, and I guess we can go like that. Back for one, sure. We can always right of oblivion the enchantment off of him. And I think that's what we're gonna do. Soul transfer. Oh no. This is a, it's a sorcery. Okay. 
This is the Sheldred turn, right? Yep. <laughs> yep. So I think what we want to do is kill her. So get rid of that. Sacrifice. Boom. Attack. So what else can we do? We can ossificate. That's the Sheldred. The amazing Sheldred. Um... So the thing about this is they could just put another Sheldred in, so I'm just gonna, eh. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. The thing about legendaries is that they can just legend rule them, so they don't have to worry about not being able to attack. Uh, that's not legendary though, is it? Sure isn't. Um... Let's go ahead and plan our disruption that. See what else they got. And that's why we kept the Realm Breakers grasp. <laughs> um. Oh no! I, I did the wrong thing. That's the Planeswalker one. Oh no. Um. Guess I'll just do that. I messed up. That's my bad. I mean, it happens, right? I always thought Realm Breaker's Grass was the one that... Uh, it's Artifact or Creature. Okay. Hmm. Let's get rid of the... that one. Alright. And then do that. Okay, now what? They got they they have tons of stuff in their hand. Oh, two more cards. Those who get in my way tend to regret. Okay. Make a player discard. Sure. Don't overthink. Four to do this, right? Yeah. Oh well. Maybe they won't have another creature next turn, and then I can attack the uh, with the Restless Fortress. Only problem is, if I do that, I keep something in my hand. Like she just discards it. Yeah, I think I I just completely messed up using the Planar Disruption. Oh my God! Really, dude? Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, it's so disgusting. We need to get rid of that. Sacrifice a non-land permanent. All right, well. You won't be outsmarting me. Uh. Well, I don't have a non-land. Well, hmm. I guess we just go for one more turn, right? If, okay, so if Sheldred attacks... I'm tired of your yeah, okay. That works. Let's see, we can do it once, almost twice. We need two more lands. Next to attackers. Okay, make me discard. I don't. I discard nothing. Okay, I think I have to. No, I have to do this first. Because then he. She will ultimate next turn. Would you draw? Please be another land. And that's what I'm talking about. I think this is over. Yeah, see, they could just do that. 
Man, they had three of those? There's one. And then there's one down here. They just run three Sheldreds up in their deck. Wow. All right, what do we draw? <laughs> hey, actually. Nah, <laughs> it's not going to work, is it? Well, technically, I'm still alive. How much stuff do I have in my graveyard? Not enough for them to transform. Alright, let's see what they do. I have a lot of permanents. <laughs> Got a lot of permanents. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Separate all permanents. Um, let's see. I guess I'm gonna choose to get rid of that. Wait, what? I said I didn't want to. Set. Okay. Well, I guess nothing changed, right? Um. Hello. Why wouldn't? Okay. Why would you not attack first? I guess it doesn't matter. Scoured planner. Uh, we, we can wait. We can wait to play the barons. Even. We can wait a while. We got Skrelv on turn one. Bunny on turn two. Or planner, depending on if they play a creature or not. <coughs> They're going first. Doesn't look like mono red. Although I don't know why people who play mono red always have red. Uh, it's just it's just weird to me. All right, let's try it out. Skrelv on turn one. We went second. Not really good. Oop. No, don't attack. Don't accidentally attack Skrelv. We need you. So we can Barons now. Let's get an Eriat. Eriat's not really going to do anything right now. Uh, so there we go. That... If it's a Naganjo, we can't do anything about it. Alright, they don't have the Iganjo. They didn't have anything last turn, they don't have anything this turn, maybe? Or maybe they did. well, they might have drawn it. During their last turn. Blue. But now they can... Not, now our shields are down. We do have stuff to stop their creatures. If they even have creatures. It could, this could be like a... A blue-green control? You don't really see too many of those. Well, I guess there's... Uh... White in there, too. Alright, well, I guess I'm uh, kind of done with the lands deck. Please. Thinks about targeting the bunny corn again. Thinks about not wanting to waste another hornlock whale. All right, what are we doing? Regal bunny corn coming in. A very, very rather small regal bunny corn, but doing the job nonetheless. They're also stuck on lands, and well, I, I, if I could give you some of the lands in, in exchange for some spells to play, that would be amazing. But unfortunately, magic doesn't work that way, fella, fella <laughs> friend. Friend info. Uh, okay. Oh my god. So. <laughs> cool, man. Well, I guess if they kill a Skrelv, we have another Skrelv. So there's that. Too bad Skrelv can't, um... Oh, no. Hey, I'm actually kind of okay with that. They can only pay once, they're gonna kill the Skrelv, right? Okay. But now the Bunnycorn gets... Oh, my God. Alright, hold on. 
So we do Skrelv. We do Hex Mage. Put it on the Skrelv. Boom. Disruption. So that was a turn. That was a turn right there. Holy crap. All right. Now is the time to kill the Regal Bunny Corn. If they have something to kill it with. They have black, so. There's the knight, sure. Okay, I don't know where I needed another scroll from, but whatever. Something to protect it with, probably. This looks like a deck that has protection. Green protection spells. Um, so here's what I think is going to happen. I think I'm going to attack in and they're going to destroy the planner incision. Or the planner uh, disruption. Or they just... They're, they're just dead. Never mind. <laughs> Fortress... Oh, this is bad, but... I like the hand. I just don't like that these are the lands we get in our opening hand. But let's do it. Whatever. <gasps> Skrelv. Skrelv, dead elf. Skrelv, dead elf, dead elf, dead elf. Uh, ambitious farmhand, sure. Do they? Uh, we're gonna find out if they care about this ambitious farmhand or not. Nope, they don't. <laughs> uh, okay, so we get a scroll too, just a little later than our opponent though. Sure. Okay. So what do we want to do? We don't. We can't use the ossification yet. I could take another hit. So, sure. Okay. So, well, we're, we got it. We got it hidden. We got their health lower than us. Here comes the bunny corn. Sure. Virtue of loyalty. Sure. Okay. I gotta land. Game says no. Um, okay. Now the bunny corn cannot attack or block, so it's useless. Okay, is welcome. Sure. Another bunny corn. Okay. Unlikely to attack again with the Skrelv. We get a land. We could grasp into disruption. Not the land I was looking for, but it'll do, I guess. Um, I don't know why he's attacking with a scroll. It's so weird. Um, I mean, I guess to get that... Yeah, I mean... We're not dead this turn. Adeline? Sure. Yeah, I think we're dead. Okay, so Adeline gets disrupted. Bunny Corn comes in as a 6-7-7. Seven, seven. But I think we're just dead anyways. I mean, three... Yeah, they have more than three in play. Werefox Bodyguard, sure. And now we're at one. Sure, yeah, you got it. We got Skrelv turn one. We got the Spellbook Vendor turn two. I like it. It'll it'll do. We have two Spellbook Vendors anyways, too. So even if they get rid of the Skrelv, then kill the Spellbook Vendor. We have another one in, in tow. And we're going first. That's important. Importante. We'll play the Restless Fortress on turn three. Because everything in our hand costs one or two, so we don't need to play a three drop. I don't even think we have any three drops in the deck. That I can remember. Eh, maybe we do. Oh, er Iriat, of course, but, you know, she's the namesake of the deck. What are we doing? <gasps> what is that? Is that pizza? Oh, it's a pie. Ah! Okay, well, you know. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, we got Skrelv.
Okay, oh, we got Eriette. Wow, of course we drew a three drop, right? Of course, we drew the three drop, but that's okay. Rona, sure. I'm actually gonna do this now. Auto pay, sure. All right. Um, do I want lands? Yeah, maybe I. No. We don't need that one. Can't attack or have their activa uh, activated abilities. Can't be activated unless they're mana abilities. That is not a mana ability. That is a drawn discard ability. Look, man. <coughs> Rona's out there just living her best life. But it ain't working. <gasps> wow. Um... Um, auto pay. I'm not attacking with the, uh... Yeah, we don't need that. I'm not attacking with the, uh, Skrelv anyways. Don't need that. Spellbook Vendor is so good with Iriet. I mean, she's already at three now, right? So, what are they gonna... Well, they still don't have anything. Um, sure. Auto pay. Put one on there. Decline. Next to attackers. Sure. Um, I'll take that. Because I can play that next turn and keep it on top. Sure. Go do three, six damage. Play the charmed apple. End the turn. Down to four. And we're up to 24. I don't think Sheldred's gonna save them. Yeah. Good game. Spiteful Hex Mage. Lord Skitter's Blessing. That's really good. Turn one, Hex Mage. Turn two, Skitter's Blessing. That's amazing. That's so good. Keeping that. Oh my god. Oh, I should cut down. <laughs> cut down is happening. Alright, well. It might. But if it doesn't, we're in good shape. They must have a, a untapped land and a tap land, and then they have that. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Lord Skitter's blessing, sure. Oh, now it's a four-three on turn two. That's a pretty big move. I'm not gonna lie. Sunset revelry, sure. Um. Hmm. I'll attack in. Okay. They have a Sunfall, maybe? But I don't... Mm. Okay, you're creating a human. Didn't make its food token, sure. Uh, let's go... Spellbook Vendor... Uh, Hex Mage, put it on the Eriat, pay, put this on the Eriat, and let's just drain them, you know? They might have a, a Sunfall here. I don't think they care about these one ones, so I think a Sunfall is coming. Join the dance, sure. Okay. What you got? I'm gonna kill the eerie yet? Oh, okay, that's fine. Auto pay. Um, no attacks. Down to ten. We got five one ones. Probably have rebel rousing, right? Whenever you cast an instant or source spell, create it. Okay, I'm okay with that. That's an eight eight. Sure. Um, eh, I'll take it. Okay, 
um, let's see. Zombie creature token with decay at the beginning of your okay. If you control three or more creature tokens, you may transform. Hmm. Let's do that, and then take that away. And then, which is vanity? Um, yeah, they're done. Just too much for them. Oh, okay, we'll take it because we we get the spellbook vendor. But uh, I'm not happy about it. But we can ossificate, we can lords. We don't want to skitter's blessing this turn though. Um, I guess we just do this. So next turn we can ossificate and vendor. You pay one, you get a spell book. Oh, yay. All right, I guess we could do this. And then I don't have to pay anything. Nope. What do you got? Oh no. Uh, keep it up. Why not? Hey, lose one life for it. Graveyard trespasser. Sure. Um. So I'm going to do this. Field of Ruin might be relevant, but as of right now, not really. Okay, so... No attacks. We're gonna wait him out. I might be able to draw some cards here. I don't want to get put back into my hand. Although he might have a, some kind of removal. Okay, there's one, two, sure. Decline, no attacks. So he didn't do anything but play that, so that means he does have another horn locked whale. And if he does play a horn locked whale, we just ossificate it. Why not, you know? <laughs> Let's auto pay. No attacks. Some of you out there are probably like, you're just giving him time to build up his hand. Yeah, it's fine. It is what it is. There's nothing I can do. Because if I don't attack, I'm just giving him time. If I do attack, it's uh, horn locked whale or some, something to destroy it. When I attack, so. Nope. He's gonna have to play it sometime. We can ossificate the whale. That's what he's waiting for. He's waiting for the whale. He's gonna blink. He's gonna flash it in this turn. That's fine. Then we can ossificate next turn. I don't even have to block this, I don't think. Draw a card, lose a lot lose two life. Lose another two life. They haven't had anything to kill the spellbook vendor, but maybe they were waiting for Sheldred. It's very possible. Alright, okay, I think we have a new target. No, no, we can attack that. We're fine. Are they gonna... Okay. My turn, sure. We draw some more. Now Skrelv's online. Can't really do much about that. Alright, so I think what we do... Ossificate. 
It's a ward too. We got it. We can pay it. Okay, um, I think they have anything to send it back to my hand. Uh, um... I'm just gonna come at him with this. And they're gonna probably try to do something to it. Maybe? No. Um, I'm gonna do this. Protection from blue. They have a second one? They have a third one. I'll be pissed. Uh, of course, they probably do. Resolve. That works. For whatever they bring in. I need something to take care of a big creature. I guess that works too. That is the deck. Um, yeah, it was it was cool. Like, it actually did better than I expected. I don't... Like, I didn't go in thinking it was going to be super competitive, but it does a lot. There's a lot of value in the deck. A lot of stuff happening um, on turn two and three where you're just getting a lot of value from the cards you're putting in. And uh, I think that goes a long way to win matches. Is just spend the least amount of mana that you can and get more out of it. And I think that's what this deck does. 100%. Um, yeah, so it's a pretty good deck. I had fun with it. I hope you had fun watching. Uh, let me know in the comments what else you want me to brew with. And uh, once again, like and comment and subscribe. Really helps the channel out. I know I said it before. I'll say it again because it, it's true. <laughs> um, and that being said, thank you so much, everybody. We'll see you next time. Peace out and have a great day.